Hey, I'm Matt McKenzie, and I'm here uh, today to show you uh, how to upload uh, Hyper-V VM, uh, at least virtual disk, up to Azure uh, using the Azure Storage Explorer method. Uh, you know, we could always do Azure uh, Migrate or Azure ASR, um, but this is just one of the alternative ways if you just want to get a, a disk up there uh, pretty straight up. Um, so first things first, we're going to go to VM, we're going to go check out the disk um, that we want to upload, and we do inspect. Um, it's the wrong format. It uh, needs to be a VHD uh, without the VHDX to upload. It also needs to not be a dynamic. It needs to be fully uh, expanded, so it needs to be a fixed disk. Um, you can tell by the current file size and that, and then obviously it's just dynamic. Um, so basically when we convert it over, it's going to take up truly 30 gigs and not be, hey, 15 gigs. Um, and it'll be a VHD file instead. Um, so one thing you've got to do, power off your VM, click on edit, go to next, say, hey, I want to convert. Um, and I want to change it over to VHD, and I want to change it to a fixed size. And then we'll say where we want this uh, file to go. Um, we're going to choose the same folder. And we'll just call it, let's see what the other one's called actually real quick. Uh, yeah. We'll just call it to be the same. So we'll click Save, click Next, it's telling you, hey, we're going to change it. VHD, fixed eyes. So we click Finish. It's probably going to take a while to do, um, so just be prepared if you're in a production environment. Do it after hours, maintenance one day. Um, so we'll give it a few minutes and we'll come back. Okay, and it finished. Um, if we go back, we've got uh, obviously a little bit more than 30 gig. Um, file, but it's a VHD. Um, so we'll go back over here. Let's say, you know, hey, you gotta go to your resource group. Uh, got my resource group. And click in and gotta go find our virtual disk real quick. And you can see, hey, it's our 30 gig disk. Click on open. It'll ask you what, uh, you want your disk name to be. Make sure you follow the naming practices, otherwise it'll fail. Um, OS type, you know, hey, Linux, Windows, what region? Um, preferably which region you're also going to run your VM from. Uh, if you're doing availability zones, or if you care or don't care, you'd set it here. Um, and then your disk uh, type. Premium SSD is uh, <laughs> more expensive, uh, but you got better IOPS. So if you're running a Heavy duty application, probably a little way to go. If you're just doing some testing, hey, maybe a standard or a standard SSD. Um, standard SSD is about half the price of a premium SSD. Um, I can't remember how much the standard HD is. Um, but, you know, if you're impatient, you want it to really roll, standard SSD would probably be fine for, for most people. So we'll choose that um, and then we'll go ahead and click upload and we'll have to hang out for a little bit. Um, there's our delayed windows from clicking upload a few times. Um, you'll see it create, and then at some point it'll show progress bar and what percentage uh, it's at. We'll hang out for a sec here and see if we can do that. I got about a 20 meg upload. It's not too bad, but it's not the greatest either. This is what it looks like when it gets uh, started and going. Show how much your upload speed is and then what your percentage is. So we'll be hanging out for a little while. All right, and we're back and uh, disk finished uploading. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over to Azure and we're going to go to disk. And now we've got our virtual disk. And we'll go ahead and click on it. And you 
can see it's unattached. US East. Pay as you go. 30 gig. So, you got to create VM at the top. So you can say, hey, yeah, let's create a VM. And you got your subscription. If you have multiple, you can choose. Resource group. If you haven't created one, create a new one. If you've already got one, go with it. Give it a virtual disk or VM name. <coughs> and we're going with uh, image. And sure, standard B1. One virtual, one gig should be plenty. Um, yeah, we'll allow RDP, sure. Um, just for this, obviously. Normally wouldn't sit there and open it up to the world. So we'll just go ahead and click next. Don't have any other disks to go along with it, but if we did, we'd put it back on that last one. And then we've got our subnet we already want to put it on, and public IP address can be a new one. And yeah, that should be good. So, okay. And then we'll go ahead and do next. If you had extensions you want to install, you could do it here. You could do your custom data. So, say if you had a script, you wanted everything to run before you got in, put it in there. Um, really, nothing else uh, to put in here, probably because I don't really have much else. Uh, you know, name if you want to put it into, uh, you know, anything you could put a name on it. All right. And it says it's open to the internet, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, we can go ahead and change that if we need to. So we'll do uh, one virtual CPU, one gig memory, pay as you go, RDP is open. Hit create. All right, and uh, it's going through deployment. Put it on pause and hang out for a minute. All right, and it's deployed. Um, so now we're gonna go over to virtual machines. And we'll see, hey, yeah, I've got my, uh, what's the server migrated? And so you'll see it's got a public IP address, an internal private IP address. Um, it's running, you can go to connect, you can connect uh, RDP, SSH, Bastion. Bastion's good if uh, you don't want to open up any ports. Uh, if you're just doing some testing, you can always open up RDP to your local IP or whatnot. Um, you just go over to network, create a rule for it. We've already got a rule set up for it, so it's going to, to anybody. Um, and then you can see any extensions you've got, uh, any other properties. You got a monitoring. You can see uh, some activity. I uh, probably just want to power it up, really. Um, and that's really, uh, really pretty much it. Um, I guess. Uh, We'll see what we want to get into next. Uh, thanks for joining. We'll see you later.